Diabetes has no boundaries. Whilst some people are born with type 1, type 2 is a form that can be developed by anyone. Research from the University of Bath has recently discovered that instead of spending an hour at the gym, short bursts of high intensity exercise can be just as successful when it comes to reducing the chances of developing this life-threatening condition. Dr Niels Vollard from the University's Department for Health has found a new way to reduce the chances of developing type 2 diabetes, which costs the NHS more than £1 million an hour to treat. The condition occurs when blood sugar builds up to a dangerously high level due to reduced insulin function, often caused by a sedentary lifestyle. Dr Vollard conducted an experiment in which volunteers were asked to perform two 20-second cycle sprints three times a week. After six weeks, he and his team of researchers saw a 28% improvement in their test subjects' insulin function. They hope that these findings will change the attitudes of people who don't regularly keep fit or exercise. And Dr. Vollard believes this research is of high significance for the understanding of diabetes. What our research is trying to achieve is to increase the ability of muscle tissue to take up glucose from the bloodstream. Um, if muscle is better at doing this, blood sugar levels won't get as high and that will reduce your chances of developing type 2 diabetes. With the sprints that we do, we can uh, reduce the muscle sugar stores substantially in a very short period of time and that forces the muscle to adapt in order to be able to take up the sugar from the bloodstream. With the type of sprints that we use, we can achieve this in 15 or 20 seconds, which would otherwise take up to an hour with moderate intensity exercise. This sort of exercise is not suitable for those solely interested in weight loss, as it doesn't burn many calories. However, with diabetes affecting so many people every day, this research seems to have unearthed a quick and easy way of reducing the likelihood of people developing this condition.